Sometimes it's easy to forget that behind the fame, fortune, talent, and photoshopped magazine covers, Hollywood celebs are just people, and just like everyone else, they regularly embarrass themselves. Here are a few stars who don't take themselves too seriously and decided to share their cringeworthy stories with the world. Get ready for some uncomfortable confessions you won't be able to unhear. Robert Pattinson for the majority of his adult career, Robert Pattinson has been trying to distance himself from the sparkly emo vampire role that made him a household name. In a 2009 interview with UK's new magazine, the former Twilight actor apparently wanted everyone to know that he was anything but clean and sparkly. Pattinson claimed he rarely changed his clothes, saying, These jeans are a few days old, but the top is probably fresh because it gets to the point where even I can't stand the air around me. I don't know, my personal hygiene? It's so disgusting. We assume Pattinson can afford dry cleaning and a pretty decent washing machine by now, so hopefully his clothes and personal hygiene habits are in a much better place. Kristen Bell if you ever happen to catch a Kristen Bell interview, you'll quickly realize that she's a habitual oversharer. That was the case once again when she appeared on the Joel McHale show with Joel McHale. I did uh -huh. have anal worms. You had anal ago. worms? Yeah. Oh, you're kidding. No, I swear to God. What did you do They're for them? They're called pinworms. Bell's road to an itchy butt started with a pinworms breakout at her daughter's preschool. Her daughter caught them, and after a quick Google search, Bell learned how contagious they are. And then I, later that day, was like... <laughs> Luckily, the anal worm invasion was defeated by some, quote, chalky nonsense from the drugstore. Was it painful? Um, no, but it's very itchy. <laughs> Hugh Grant Back in 1995, when he was dating actress Elizabeth Hurley, Hugh Grant was arrested for lewd conduct after being caught in the act with a prostitute. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> Grant, who pleaded no contest to the charges, claimed that his friends and co-workers suggested he give a number of different excuses for his behavior, but he felt it would be ridiculous to lie. I think you know in life uh, pretty much what's a good thing to do and what's a, b a bad thing, and um, I did a bad thing, and there you have it. Although he was tabloid fodder for a while, Grant's career didn't suffer due to a tactic we rarely see in celebrity scandals these days. He didn't make any excuses. Katy Perry Fans at Katy Perry's iHeartRadio listening party for Prism in 2013 got a bit more information than expected when the fireworks singer was asked to describe the contents of her purse. She explained, One of the first times I went to the Grammys, I got to share a dressing room with Miley Cyrus and Taylor Swift, and I asked them for a lock of their hair from each one of them, which is totally creepy but awesome. It's up in the air whether she later used her hair for some kind of evil witchcraft against her alleged rival Swift, but at the time, Perry added, I put little bows on them individually and put them in my purse, and that was my little secret and I'm a freak. Lucy Hale You might know Lucy Hale as a pretty little liar, but apparently she'll tell the truth about her driving skills. The actress told People magazine about a particular night when her boyfriend at the time happened to be telling his family what a bad driver she was. She shared, I was sticking up for myself, saying I was a great driver, and then I backed up into his aunt's new car. I was humiliated. It was terrible. My boyfriend at the time was like, see, I told you. This wasn't the first time Hale described a lack of prowess behind the wheel. Back in 2014, she told Fox News she was, quote, one of the worst drivers, and added, I don't hit moving objects, I hit stationary objects, and I have a talent for getting parking tickets. Louis Tomlinson While there aren't too many reasons to feel sorry for the superstar members of ex-boy band One Direction, you can feel a little bad for Louis Tomlinson, who at the height of the band's fame received an embarrassing lesson in humility. The singer told Seventeen that while on a ski trip with Harry Styles, the boys were approached by two people holding a camera. He explained, We assumed they were going to ask us for a photo, so we stood there with our arms around each other posing. They said, No, we want you to take a photo of us. It was so embarrassing. Hugh Jackman In an appearance on The Graham Norton Show, Hugh Jackman reminisced about a particularly embarrassing moment on stage as Gaston in the 1996 Australian production of Beauty and the Beast. After drinking too much water before a show, he found himself desperately needing to go to the bathroom in the middle of a musical number. That's when I realized the, the muscles you need to release to sing are the very ones you need to tense to hold on. And I'm thinking, if I sing this note, I'm peeing my pants. <laughs> if I don't sing this note, I'm humiliated in front of 2,000 people. Being the selfless man that he is, Jackman decided not to let down his audience. Me! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.